Why the Earth Will Not End in December 2012? The fossil study of meteorites have indicated that man evolved from microorganism presumably came from outer space into the fertile land of earth our cells may have memories of travel through universe but we do not our ancestral microorganisms landed in various places through spores attached to meteorites and fell into goldilocks area of our sun namely earth goldilocks area is what astronomer names the area which is neither too far from stars to be too cold and icy and not too near to star to be fiery with soaring temperature both extremes cannot support life then the microorganism which fell into earth started evolving much like fungi which fell into moist bread and grow into bigger colonies in which way did the meteorite carry our ancestral single cell microbes came out from cosmos of course we see the dark crypt theory and the expanding universe theory which explains the doom of earth if explained without considering the rotation of sun around milky way galactic center will be much different than actual the orion cygnus arm is a minor spiral arm of milky way galaxy some 3500 light years across and approximately 10000 light years in length the solar system and therefore the earth is within the orion cygnus arm The earth is not exactly revolving around sun and sun is not static. In fact, earth and sun is revolving around Milky Way galactic center which is perceived as a black hole. Sun's orbit around the galaxy is about 220 km per second and thus its orbital period is about 240 million years. Star crypt is the side of Milky Way which humans cannot see because they are on the other side of galactic center. Star crypt is beyond the Sagittarius Cygnus arm. Galactic center is covered with gas and dust and more activities and light. These prevents us from seeing the other side. further as the sun and entire galaxy is revolving around galactic center all the other galaxies will seem to go away faster from us except those towards which we are moving as the sun and solar system itself is moving at a fast speed after careful study of the outer space through various satellite telescopes it is well discovered that galaxies contain not only the stars and planets but also dark matter almost 10 times of the mass of stars the galaxy after considering the dark matter look like a huge bubble of dark mass 
in which the central light structure is the galaxy. This is the only visible thing in a galaxy. The rotation of galaxy itself will be in its own axis and the stars are moving with the mass of galactic dark matter. As the rotation of entire galaxy and stars and the rotating planets are cocooned in dark matter, there is no question of only sun or any other star going to dark rift after coming out of its position in galaxy. No chance of world coming to an end because of the dark rift and gamma rays falling on the earth. But there is a real risk of meteorites falling into earth again in a mass extinction action. We need to study the universe and its behavior to protect the earth itself. Thank you.